My name is Murad Musayev and my groupmate Naila Bakshaliwa. Today we're gonna discuss the problem of reaching poor gap, challenge number seven, and the problem of poverty in Azure region. First of all, Naila. Hi, I am Naila Bakshaliwa. The majority population of Azerbaijan have a varied standard of living. The gap between uh, rich and poor is growing, something too much emphasize of self-reliance with uh, regard to poor people is a clock to discuss indifference towards the plight of the poor. Scripture teaches that the rich uh, should give to the poor. Uh, assistance funds are divided among the poor population by uh, many charities. In order to increase the uh, percentage uh, of poor people, uh, the, uh, there should be opened new jobs for unemployed people in the regions. So, there's two ways to solve the rich and poor gap problem. One of them is the decreased the, mm, number of poor people in a country. The second is decrease the number of rich people in the country. We will say the first one. There are several ways of solving this problem. One of the most effective one can be the creating the new workplaces in a country. The second, for so example, can be integrated to the world region, uh, regional economic organizations. Uh, one of the most important point in this to create a stability in this country for a long period. In a way of uh, decreasing the number of poor, the big role is playing charity funds, the social programs in order to help poor people in t uh, from the point of medicine, healthcare, and the problematic for the children. So the main goals of all this is to decrease the poverty in other region to the minimum in your country could be um, and the second of all is to create the middle class the middle class is one of the forms showing that there are really a small gap between rich and poor in Azerbaijan for example as it's the new country is created just in a, a 1991 uh, the, the middle class cannot be formed for this short period it needs much more time as I already mentioned the much of uh, the most of the important factors in decreasing the gap is stability in a country. Twenty-two years of country is not so big period for this. But anyway, the gap between uh, rich and poor uh, is not so big. Maybe just because of the social regime in a post-Soviet countries, it uh, developed to the uh, and de developed. And show itself in a capitalist regime nowadays in other regions. Anyway, there is, I said, the social programs helping the people uh, in a point of health can be free medicine care, uh, children starting to the free education of all schools and free education pre uh, preschool organizations, and uh, uh, also the students can get the free education. As a final, we can ask what can the future program of the continue of solving this problem gap? I already explained you what's the main rules, what's the main uh, ways to dissolve it. So, Mr. President, how do you think? What's the main goals? Uh, what's the main ways of solving this problem in Azerbaijan? Thanks.